No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told that? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Oh, can't you go any faster? Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. I swear, half of you were just rotten your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappeared. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What you want? Come. Huh? We're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, no. Keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. Ned. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What the hell? What the hell? She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. <sighs> After them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. You picked the wrong girl. They're heading down the hill to the water. You got it. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Once the boss lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Go on, rope that bastard. And don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Tilly Jackson ain't doing the hell. Come here. That's it. Oh. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Uh. Nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his boy. Let's go for a ride. Do you have the first idea of what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? 
She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel go to hell. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You wait, coward bastard. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. Shut the hell up. All right, all right, damn it. Good girl. There's a girl. girl. All right. Here's your man. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard. Uh, yeah. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. 